Welcome back to the third part of descriptive statistics. In this, we'll be seeing what is measure of shape. Now, measure of shape basically describes the distribution or the pattern of the data within the data set. It can be measured with the help of three parameters. One is symmetric, other one is skewed, and the third one is cortosis. Let's see them one by one. Now, what is symmetric? In symmetric distribution, we say that the distribution is, can be divided into two parts and each part is a mirror image of the each other. Let's see this with the help of an example. Let's take an example of the marks received by 100 students in a math test. Now, if I have to plot the marks of these 100 students, then I can say that there will be very few students who will be achieving very low marks and that will lie in this orange region. And there will be very few students who will be achieving very high marks above 90 or above 85. And that will be lying in this green region. But most of the students will be having an average marks that will be lying in this blue region. So I can say that if I plot the marks obtained by 100 students, I will receive this bell shaped curve. So this kind of curve is called a symmetric curve or we can call it as a bell shaped curve because it represents the shape of a bell. And therefore it is also called as normal distribution because most of the data is being centered around the center of my data that is the median or the mode of my data. The one important property of symmetric distribution is the all the three central tendency measures that is mean median and mode are equal that is median is equal to mean is equal to mode so this kind of distribution is called as symmetric distribution next is skewness skewness refers to two aspects when the data is distributed mostly on the left side or on the right side of the data rather than the center point of my data that means if my data is distributed on the left side it is called as positively skewed and if my data has been distributed on the right side, it is called as negatively skewed. So let's take up an example for each of them. Let's say I have to uh, find out the distribution of salary in a particular company. Now in a company, there will be very few people who will be having very low salary. And there will be very few people who will be having a very high salary. So few people like CEO, MD, all will be having a very high salary and that will fall in this particular green region. Whereas very few people will be having like clerks will be having a high low salary and that will be lying in this orange region. But most of the salary of people will be evenly distributed around this blue region. But it is not the center of my data point. So my mean is here and most of my data is towards the left of my mean. In this case my median is less than the mean. So if I have a distribution of this kind where my median is less than the mean value or when my data is distributed on the left side of my mean, I can say that distribution as a positively skewed distribution. On another side, I'll take up another example of distribution of scores of students in a very easy test. Now, if the test is very easy, it is obvious that most of the students will attain more than the average marks then the distribution of my marks of students will be across the mean like that means on the right side of my mean that is on the higher side of the marks so there will be very few students who will be achieving very high or almost 100 marks and very few students will be there who will be having very low marks but very few students are there who are getting the very marks that less than the average marks so this will lie in the orange region and most of the students will lie good marks between the mean and the median value. In this particular case, the median is more than the mean because the marks are already distributed along the higher side because the test was very easy. So when I say that the marks of a student or any data is being distributed on the right side of my mean, then it is called as a negatively skewed data. So in this negatively skewed data, Median is more than the mean value. Next is kurtosis. Kurtosis is basically the descriptor of the shape of my data. So it can be three parts. It can be leptocotic, it can be platycotic, it can be mesocotic. So let's see them. Now this is kurtosis. 
Now, if I say that my data is uh, distributed evenly across the center, but it is like a flat value, that means it is evenly distributed among the data set and it has few points larger than the around the mean. Then I can say it is behaving like a plateau and therefore it is called as platycotic data or platycotic distribution. Now, when I say that my data is normally distributed, like in the symmetric distribution, then I will refer to that normal distribution as the mesocotic data or the mesocotic distribution. Next is leptocotic distribution. That means when my data or the most of my data point is centered around the mean, then I have the high peak of my data and it is referred to as leptocotic distribution. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's say I, I have given the movie reviewed example and 400 plus movie ratings has been achieved by the IMDB and it is being compared with the single user rating. So let's say orange part is the user rating and the blue part is the IMDB rating. If I get the rating from the user for all different types of movies, then the user is basically behaving in a very uh, uneven fashion because it may like some movies, it may not like some movies. Whereas for all these movies, the rating received by 400 plus users by the IMDB is being standardly distributed around the center and it has most of the movies have received the highest rating as compared to the as compared to the user so i can say that the user rating is platycotic because it is evenly distributed some movies have got less reviews some movies have got high ratings whereas the reviews or the rating received by the imdb uh, users is leptocotic because most of the rating are on the higher side or on the mean of my data. So blue part represents the uh, leptocotic data or leptocotic distribution and the orange part represents the platycotic distribution. So this is about kurtosis. Next we will see what are the practical uses of measure of shape. So measure of shape basically tells us the frequency distribution that is being concentrated about the mean. It can be used to find out the measure of outliers because outliers can be easily find out in the help of leptocotic data. And we can study the effect of outliers on the overall data as well. So this completes our descriptive statistics. Next, we'll be having a video on the plots of these distributions. And then we'll have a practical implementation in the Python. For more interesting videos, please subscribe to my channel. And for the training in any visualization tool or on Python or on data science, do contact me out. Thank you all.